Amelia is a little girl who is diagnosed with acute myelogenous leukemia. My first response was, I mean, you know, it's cancer and she was a baby and you're scared that you're not gonna have your child with you. What we did since Amelia's brother was not um, a potential donor because he didn't match the same way that Amelia did, um, then we ended up just doing chemotherapy alone. Well, unfortunately, Amelia relapsed and we had to resort to stem cell transplant. When my son was born six and a half years ago, we donated his cord blood. And then when Amelia was born, we donated her cord blood. We never thought we would be on the receiving end of this cord blood donation process. The first time that I learned about cord donation was with Alexis when I was pregnant. In my doctor's office, there was a brochure. Here, there was this perfect opportunity to do something extraordinary for another life and at the same time that I'm having a baby, which is the most extraordinary moment for me. I like to tell my husband, you know, in making this decision and thinking about it afterwards, that if you walked up, you know, with your plastic bottle, with your water bottle, and you had the decision to either throw it in the recycling bin or throw it in the trash, you would obviously pick the recycling bin. And that's how easy this decision is when you're thinking about it, to go ahead and and um, use this for something better. Cord blood collection and banking is the ultimate recycling project. Uh, the blood that is contained in the umbilical cord is normally discarded as medical waste, but since we have found that the cells contained therein are so valuable, it's turned out to be a great resource. Stem cells are currently being used to treat malignant diseases like leukemia and lymphoma, and some non-malignant diseases like sickle cell anemia and thalassemia. Research and clinical trials are being used at this point to use adult stem cells, including cord blood, for regenerative medicine therapies. And what I mean by regenerative medicine therapy is stem cells being used to repair spinal cord injuries and heart tissue after a heart attack. The Archdiocese of St. Louis endorses the cord blood program at Cardinal Glennon and wants to encourage others to participate in the program if that's possible. Mothers and families who plan to have deliveries of children should take advantage of the opportunity to donate the cord blood for the purposes of future research and cures. As a parent myself, I think about how it would feel with my children meaning so much to me, how a parent would feel to really want to give their own special child something that they don't have, um, that they need to live. Well, there's a lot of public discussion these days about stem cells and potential cures from the use of stem cells. And the church uh, is not opposed to stem cell research. The church is opposed to the destruction of human embryos. Every human being comes into existence by a personal act of God, and God is personally involved in the coming to be of every human being from the moment of their creation. This is why embryonic stem cell research, which requires the destruction of human embryos, is gravely immoral. And it emphasizes the need to look for alternative sources in the use of adult stem cells, like stem cells from cord blood and bone marrow. We have experience of over 30 years of bringing about cures, particularly for a number of cancers. And as we move further into the future, we already have experience using adult stem cells that could be an excellent source for the future of new cures and new treatments. When we're able to be a part of the process of helping a child survive their leukemia or their disease, it's really fulfilling to watch them. When I see them running around the hospital and, and, uh, and full of life and energy and playing, when I know that prior to uh, their transplant, they really didn't have another alternative or another chance at life. Amelia is involved in dance. She does ballet and tap. She loves to do gymnastics. Um, she's in swimming lessons right now. She's doing pretty much all the things that all her four-year-old friends are doing. We are just reminded every single day of how lucky we are that she is here with us. The cord blood absolutely saved Amelia's life. There was no other treatment option for her.